So, hello world, we continue with the second installment of our LMAO series on all kinds of uh, basic essentials of uh, life and stuff. First of all, I like to apologize for all the bad words like uh, shit shit and uh, spade head and whatever other curses I'm throwing at all the listeners over there. No ill feeling intended. Please don't mind. Uh, if you don't like such strong words, then uh, I'm really sorry about that. Uh, but I do. Because I heard the Beatles say, la la la, love is all you need is love. So that's all. Because all the new age people are telling me, all you need is love. Just love, love, love. Okay, but if I love to beat up people, then uh, do we have a problem or not? If I love to beat up people who love to talk about love, you know, then why are you infringing with my desire to naturally and spontaneously love? What's your problem? Uh, obviously, there's something a little hazy here in this sort of a conception of love. So, I mean, well, what is love? What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. Somebody said once upon a time in a pop song. So maybe there's a little bit more to the whole thing. Let's consider what is love. What is love? Ask yourself. Or otherwise, what is, what is God? It's about as ambiguous as love. And everyone is saying you have to love, love, love. So the, what the hell is that love? One person said it's one thing, another person said it's another thing, and they say you got to have faith in it. And then when people have conflicting conceptions of how that love ought to be working out because they take it on a self-referential axis, then of course that's just, uh, again, uh, bullshit. So let's take another axiom before we go into lofty things like uh, love and uh, God and the uh, universe and uh, yeah, 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 yeah whatever people are looking for out there. Take these two poles, attachment and aversion. Instead of saying love and hate, because they are hard to define, let's start with something more concrete and see if we can actually get somewhere in here. Attachment and aversion. Aversion are things that I myself find unfit, unsuitable, unpleasing for me, and I have a certain disagreeable sensation whenever I come across them. So that is aversion. That's aversion. And that is hate. And that generates all sorts of uh, other unsavory states of mind. So that's aversion. On the other hand, you have attachment. Two things are attaching to each other, like two hands clasping or two lovers embracing. Attachment. At that point, it's just attachment. It can be chemical attachment, it can be psychological attachment, a sort of bonding uh, of complementary aspects that creates a sensation of unity, of commonality. Uh, but, but what is love? Well, how is that any different from chemicals and molecules bonding together? How is it any different uh, from anything that you see in the nature? Is that love? What you have in there with this sort of a clingy, attaching sensation, that is not even the love that you see in nature. In nature, come on, I mean, look at the trees over there. Think about the love that those trees have for the ground and the, that the leaves have for the tree, for the unified flow of symbiotic existence that permeates the whole thing. That is love. Look at the clouds on the sky, they're floating around. They're not imposing on each other. They're just flowing and they're flowing as nature takes them around. They have no independent objective or objection or rejection or any kind of a quarrel in the process that would not already be a natural reaction, not a self-referencing, desirous interaction but rather an expression of the flow of nature. That is natural and that is 
the real virtue in life, not the sort of uh, making yourself the pinnacle of individuation, becoming the uh, supreme character of everything. I mean, that is not, uh, if people love appearance, then that is not love. If people love something for the sake of gaining something for themselves, that is not love. Love is unrequisited. Love is causeless. Love is without a desire to gain anything back for the self. That is love and not this sort of uh, woogie-boogie, mushy-mushy, uh, purely emotional and uh, chaotic exchange that people imagine is the love that is in nature, but nature is not chaotic like that. Because nature doesn't try to play any other game than the shared game that all living creatures are playing. I mean, that is, that is love. When I have love for me as much as I have for Lady Gaga, okay? And when I love my dog as much as I love my god, and when I love my tree as much as I love to be free, and if I love my cat as much as I love the rat, then that's love, because that doesn't seek to take anything from anyone else, but that just wants to continue with a transparent heart the natural course of events that is already unfolding. It's like being a mirror against nature, not against, but with nature, reflecting whatever comes, expressing the flow, whatever the flow is on any given day, that is the flow, and that is love. That is love for the attractor that is naturally present in nature. That is love. <laughs>